So today is a very special day because just like you can see, I'm in a beautiful place uh, called Kisi Town. I'm still here and I'm enjoying the vicinity. Actually, we took an Airbnb here and uh, we're having a cool, cool time. And um, there's something that I want to explain today about business and closing sales. You see, there is a marketer, there is a salesperson, and there is a closer. Are you either of the three? Where exactly are you? So if you're a closer, you must be knowing these four steps of how you can close extremely fast. Many people keep on closing and closing and closing, but they are really not closing. They're only just marketing and selling and advertising their products, but there is a real closer. Now, what does a closer do? When you're selling something, there are four aspects of things that you need to put in mind so that you can be able to make that sell within the shortest time possible because this is the only way that you can be able to do and make money. So just before I start, I want you to subscribe down there to that channel because uh, you're going to get extremely many, many, many videos which will be speaking about business, social media marketing and traveling every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays and as well many other videos. So subscribe down there and hit that notification button so that you don't miss a video. So let's go to point number one. If you want to close very fast, the first easy step that you need to do is understand your client's pain. What is bothering your client? That is exactly his pain. So if you understand your client's pain, you're going to understand the solution. Now, when I talk about understanding your client's pain, what I mean is what is their main worry or their problem? What issue are they facing? What challenge are they facing? Understand it first. Don't just come and give them a suggestion of things that you think that you may be able to solve. It's not always like that. Always understand their problem. Give a suggestion of, hey, guys, please, what, what, what's really bothering you? Can I be able to understand your pain? What exactly do you want to achieve? All those kind of things is first understanding what your client wants. That's the first main part. And the second part is what your client needs. So there is a pain and there is a need. Their pain is what is bothering them because they don't have a solution. But the need is exactly what they need so that they can be able to solve this problem. Now their need is what? What kind of things can add up to give them a solution but they are not finding it? What need do they have right now? What's their urgency right now? If you're selling apartments, just like I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere I took, in Kisi where I took an Airbnb. Basically, the need that I had is looking for a place where I can stay. So for me to be able to get that uh, service delivered to me or given to me, the person who is selling the Airbnb ought to have advertised themselves so that I can see this is a person who is giving the the solution to my need all right because if you don't understand the need what they need at that particular time you may not be able to give them the solution somebody is looking for a mobile phone a certain kind of mobile phone so that is the need that they have right right at that time yes the pain is that they cannot be able to communicate they need to communicate they need to get to social media but they don't have a gadget to communicate so what do they need they need a mobile phone all right so the need is also the second thing that you can be able to get which can be of great great help understand their need all right the point number three that you need to have is build your client trust Trust is everything. In business, you have to have trust. People have to trust you. People have to see the, the, the value in you. People have to build confidence in you. Build that confidence. Let them feel so relaxed whenever they're talking to you. Whenever you're giving them suggestion, build that trust. Because trust is what sells. So we have spoken about the first thing is the pain, the need, and building trust. All right? Now, when you finish building trust, we go to the fourth thing and the final thing which is called creating urgency now when i talk about creating urgency this is what i mean if your client doesn't buy that time there and then then trust you me he will never buy she will never buy urgency is what gives you a sell if you tell this client you have a need 
of a mobile phone. Uh, you're looking for a for, for mobile phone right now because your pain is you cannot be able to communicate and your need is a mobile phone. And I've already built trust with you. You already like the way I speak to you. You already like what I sell. You already like everything that I talk to you about mobile phones and I've told you about this design of mobile phone, that design of mobile phone. So you've already built trust with me. So what do I need? The fourth thing is what I've just explained to you. Create the urgency. I end up telling my client, if you don't buy right now, tomorrow the offer might not be lasting. The same same model or mobile phone might not be there. What you're looking for might have been bought by someone else. Create that urgency. Urgency is what sells. Scarcity. We have few left. Few types of mobile phones left. Few things left. So if you don't buy right now, you're going to be missing out. This is the offer that we have. This is exactly what we have. So. If you don't create that urgency, it will mean that the client will not be able to buy right now. And the moment they go and sit down and start thinking and start telling themselves, let me go and see, let me go and calculate, let me go and check my budgets and all those kind of things. Trust you me, they will never buy your product, all right? So those are the four kind of things of what you can be able to do to make and to close a sale very, very fast. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and hit that notification button because we are going bigger this year we're going bigger we are speaking nothing but business social media marketing and travel plus much much more god bless you and have a great 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 time